ideas on it. And we got a jug of water here just to show you some of the production. We're going to plug it back in. And we're going to show our voltage again. get it up right around 100 volts and as you can see we're only drawing 0.6 amps and basically we've got there's no production at all now we're going to continue to increase it and we're going to take it up to about 105 volts that's 0.8 amps and we're starting to get some bubbles. Very slow. Now the size of the tube that I've got is a 5 8 inch half inch inside diameter tube. So it's a pretty large tube. It's not a little quarter inch tube like a lot of people use. If I had a little quarter inch tube it would look like it's bubbling a lot more but it's really not. But I feel you need one this size for a cell of this size. So we're going to slowly increase the voltage. Now we're going to go up to 110, 111, 112, and now we're at 2.2 amps. And we're getting a fairly good stream of bubbles at 2 amps. <clears throat> and as you watch, I'll just slowly bring the voltage up and I'll show you that in a minute. I'm going to bring it up just five more volts, three more volts, up to 115 volts. Our amperage increases to 4.8 amps at 115 volts, and our production increases dramatically. test this is only running at about 50% of the capacity of this cell but we'll show you what it's going to do at 50% of the capacity with this little liter test bottle we've got if we can get a stopwatch here in the picture maybe we can get the, if you can see the second hand when it gets to the 15 I'm going to plug it in and go this is a one liter bottle and it's 10 seconds and it's to the top. So one liter in 10 seconds running at 50% capacity. Now if, I, if I bypass my control here and go direct it's going to actually overdrive the cell by about six or seven volts is all but you're going to see the difference in production as you can see production is pretty dramatic and then we're going to do the same bottle test again Thirty seconds we're gonna start. And go. Five seconds now, and we're at there. So that was one liter in five seconds. We'll do it one more time. In case anybody out there doesn't believe it. And as soon as we get to the twelve, we're gonna do it again. There's 
five seconds exactly for one liter. So we're actually running 118 volts at 17 amps. But when I bring my concentration of KOH up a little higher, it should bring hopefully my voltage down. And then I'll be able to control my amps a little better because this is really a little too much amps for the cell. The maximum I want to run is 15 amps. I'm hoping more for 10 to 12. <clears throat> but it's, it's pretty amazing just a little bit of difference in a few volts makes on production and how the cell works. But that production you're seeing right there is at 115 volts, six and a half amps. Which is getting one liter every 10 seconds. as I get a little bit better control over the, the amps on this cell. I haven't found a controller that I can hook to it yet that will work on 120 that I can regulate it and keep it right at 10 volts, but I'm going to find one or build one. But this is my Scuffy 3 cell, and it's a prototype, but I think I'm going in the right direction. And the temperature on the cell right now is right at 90 degrees which is still running very cool. So as soon as I get some more information and run some more data tests and get it on a truck, then I'll present some mileage tests. But this is where I'm at so far. And that's all we got to say about that today. Have a good one.